Welcome to the Oracle Enterprise Manager Cloud Control 13C demo series. This demonstration will show you how to create a basic report in BI Publisher against Cloud Control 13C target data and that BI Publisher honours Cloud Control target privileges. In this demonstration, we will see how to create folders for our reports, how to create a data model that our reports can be built upon, how to use the report wizard to create a report, and how to use the layout editor to modify that report. You can use the links here to jump straight to each section or just move to the time for the sections. Now that we have assigned BI Publisher privileges to our Enterprise Manager Cloud Control users, we can start creating our own custom reports. As part of the integration between BI Publisher and Enterprise Manager Cloud Control, a shared folder called Enterprise Manager Cloud Control is created within BI Publisher. This is the folder hierarchy that is displayed within Enterprise Manager Cloud Control. However, we should not extend the hierarchy or add our own reports to this structure as future patches and updates may overwrite our additions. Site-specific reports should be created in their own folder hierarchies. Although on the surface this seems cumbersome, if we remember that the report hierarchy displayed within Cloud Control is merely a punch-out to BI Publisher itself, it is no more onerous than running the out-of-the-box reports. Let's log in to BI Publisher to create a folder for our own reports. To do so, we need to log in as a user with the EM BIP Administrator role, which in our case is the EM Admin User. We'll create a folder called Custom Reports under Shared Folders. Next, we need to modify the permissions on the folder to allow our fellow Enterprise Manager Cloud Control users to access the folder and its contents. We'll allow anyone with the EMBIP author role to read, write and delete items in the folder. Anyone with the EMBIP scheduler role to schedule reports in the folder and anyone with the EMBIP viewer role to read and run reports in the folder. We'll also elect to apply the same privileges to all items that are created in the folder. BI Publisher reports are composed of two parts an underlying data model, and a layout for displaying the information retrieved through the data model. I'll create a data models folder to keep the two separate. We're going to create a report that will let you select a managed database and display some table space information for that database as both a graph and a table of data. And we will need three things in our data model to realise it. A parameter to display on the report so the user can select a database to report upon. A list of values to populate the selection parameter with database names. And a data set to extract the table space data from the repository filtered by the parameter value. EM Reports is the Enterprise Manager Cloud Control user to whom we granted the EM BIP author role, so let's log in to BI Publisher as that user. Start the data model creation process by clicking the Create Data Model button. We will specify its location in the folder hierarchy when we save it. Let's start with the list of values. We give it a name and we'll create an SQL query against the EM Repos data source to populate it. The EM Repos data source was created for us as part of the installation process. I'll use the Query Builder to create the SQL query. The search field will dynamically filter the list of available objects as we type into it. Drag the objects you want to use from the list and onto the Builder pane. I want to select instance name and target GUID tuplets to populate my list of values so that the instance name can be displayed but the target GUID will be used as the key value in the background. 
This means I need to ensure the display field is first and the key value is second. So I use the Conditions tab to reorder target GUID and instance name appropriately. Clicking on Results runs the query so we can confirm that it works. It's working OK, so we'll save it. Now that we have our list of values, we'll create a parameter so it can be displayed. We give the parameter an internal name and a display name that will be seen on the report. For this demonstration, we will restrict the selection to a single value. As the final piece of our data model, we create a data set for the table space data. This will be an SQL query using the EM Repos data source. We will use the query builder and filter the object list. Then drag the objects we want to use onto the builder pane. The Query Builder lets us join the two objects by selecting a column in the first object and the second. It displays the join and if we hover over it, we see the definition of the mapping we just created. Next we select the columns we want to use in the dataset. and add a condition on the target GUID column to whatever is selected in the parameter. As this column is only present for the purpose of filtering the results, we will uncheck the Show option. Save the dataset. Now we can save the data model to the Custom Reports Custom Data Models folder that we created earlier. BI Publisher allows us to generate sample data for the dataset that can be used later to visualise the report as we build it. Click View Data to run the data model query. We see that our parameter behaves as expected, and by clicking View, we see the XML document that is returned by our data model. Let's save this as sample data for use later on. Now that we have our data model, we need to create a report to display the data. We can select New Report from the standard menu, or use the Create Report button on the home page, or simply use the Create Report button right here on the data model page. The Guided Report Wizard makes it simple to create a basic report without the need for using the Layout Editor. It's a simple matter of selecting the data model to base the report on, although in this case BIP has anticipated that we want to use the data model we were just editing. Then we choose the Guide Me Radio button, and then we click Next to proceed through the guided steps. The next step in the Guided Report Wizard is to select a layout for our report. I want a portrait layout with a page header where I can display the database name and version, and a chart and a table layout to display table space data. Notice that the steps to be executed in the wizard change as we select different layouts. Click Next to move on to the next step, which in our case is to define the chart. BI Publisher displays three hotspots where you can drop fields to be displayed as chart values, series, or labels. I want to display table space size and used space on my graph, 
so I drag those two columns to be values. Notice how the report wizard uses the sample data that we saved earlier to show us how the report will look. The table space name should be the label, so let's drag that to the label field. Click Next to move on to the next step, which for us is to create the table of data. BI Publisher automatically uses the fields we dragged onto the chart. We can move those fields or delete them. I want to display size and used size, so first I'll check what column is missing, then drag it to the table. Again, BI Publisher displays our sample data. I'll let BI Publisher add a grand totals row. Click Next to save the report with the option to view it or further customise it using the Layout Editor. I want to view my report before doing anything else, so I'll click Finish and save my report in the Custom Reports folder. Now the report opens and I can use my database instance parameter to switch between databases. Let's see BI Publisher honour the Enterprise Manager target privileges. First is EM User 1 who has view privilege on EM13 rep and OICL databases. Then is EM User 2 who only has view privilege on the OICL database. The report wizard has given us a functional report, but I want to change the title and add some information to the page header that I got the report wizard to include. To make changes like that, we need to use the BI Publisher Layout Editor. So once again, we log in as the EM Reports user and click the Edit link for our report, either from the list of recent reports or from the catalogue, which takes us to the report's homepage. Here we see the data model that the report is based upon, together with the layouts used to display the data for this report. It's possible to have multiple layouts in one report, allowing you to view the same data in different ways. The wizard created a layout for us, and that's what I want to modify, so I'll edit that. First, I'll modify the chart title to something meaningful for this report. I want to display the instance name and version of the selected database, so we'll add a grid under the title to hold that data. In the top left hand cell, I'll add a field label for the instance name. and likewise in the bottom left hand cell for the database version. And then I can drag the instance name and DB version fields from the data model onto the report layout. and I'll adjust the column width to suit the labels. I'm happy with that layout, so I'll save it.
and now when we open the report, we see the modified layout. Thanks for watching this demonstration.